Okay, for this next one, we want to create a chart where the information is not right next to one another. So we're going to highlight A2 through A5. Okay, remember, don't do the totals unless it says to. So select that first. Then press and hold control with your mouse and select D2 through E5. Now, guys, if you accidentally select something else or don't do it in that order, it, it'll reveal that in your chart. So your chart will not look the same. So under column, choose 2D column. And if right here before you click on the chart, it doesn't look right. It has two big blocks and then says weird stuff. Then you just go back and re-highlight your information. Okay. So I'm going to choose 2D column. I'm going to cut it. Control X. Go to my charts. Click below the other table. Paste it. Control V. Move it over just a little bit. Okay. And it says to um, add another chart title, horizontal. Oh, it says, sorry. Select food item titles, insert a 3D chart, switch rows and columns. Okay. So when we do that, we're going to change it from grilled chicken sandwich, large fries down here, and then that would now be in my legend and fat and sugar would be up here. The easy way to do that is to go to chart tools, design, switch row column. Okay. And um, so now we don't need to have a um, horizontal axis title. So we're going to click on this plus sign and under axis titles, I am just going to choose primary vertical and then I'm going to check data labels. Okay. So over here, I'm going to put grams or number of grams, enter. It says to um, change the color of the bars in the chart to go along with your restaurant's color. And before that, it says to move the legend to the top. So I'm going to click. Uh, Sorry, don't click on your legend and move it. Um, click up here, go to legend, and choose top. Okay, now I'm going to change my color scheme here. So if I want to change each and every one of these colors. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't, I was sure on my McDonald's color. So I'm going to choose these, change these to yellow. So my home ribbon, I'm just going to go here to my fill color and change that to yellow. And I have red. And I'm going to change this to like gray. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to add a chart title too. Well, let's see how well I do here. All right, so I added my chart title too. And I'm supposed to change the color of the text in the chart. So I can click like number of grams. I can bold that. Maybe make it same. I'm going to change this to like more red, red. Change those. Okay. Maybe bold that. All right. So my second chart is done. So now move to the last video, FF4, after you hit save.